What's up, guys? This is Rise, and welcome to another video. It is a, another spicy Saturday here, early on Sunday, as we have Dugong, Parasect, and Galarian Weezing in the Spring Cup Great League Edition. I am excited for this team. We've got a couple of shinies, and then G Weezy, as we like to call them, going as well. We are going to speed this up to 1.5 times speed, and uh, I'm excited to see this team in action now let me know in the comments is there any pokemon you feel like you do a decent impression of i am not a very good impressionist in general but i think i can do a decent parasect here we go here goes one two three Par parasect. that was pretty solid right i'm gonna toot my own horn there i think that was okay and immediately we see the parasect safe swap look at the shiny glory of parasect Against this, <laughs> against this Feral Thorn, they don't know what to do. Unfortunately, this Grass type is going to really struggle against this Water type because it is going to resist everything. Um, X Scissor, I know it didn't say not very effective, but it is not very effective. The uh, the game in the in-game in text has been struggling lately, as we're going to see a charge attack priority. But credit to Parasect, able to soft lose this matchup and potentially set up a farm down for one of his other Pokemon. This is totally fine. Duo's gonna have to eat a drill peck, but that doesn't doesn't hurt too bad to Dugong. Dugong's a tanky, tanky beast. Gonna get the big ice shard down, and you probably have to shield this one here. So might see the icy wind, and then will the opponent let it go or will they invest their first protection? They haven't used one yet, so I could see them investing in a shield here, and they do so. Quick swap into Weezing. And the opponent swaps into Venusaur. And Venusaur is going to struggle here, bro. Looks like he's intending to bait the the Brutal Swing. I don't know about this. I feel like you might just want to go straight for Overheat since you're ahead. This could give a way out, but maybe he feels like this is the safest play. Brutal Swing gets the shield. Now you Overheat, and now you're just so far ahead. It looks to be in a really commanding position here. Now Ferrothorn would have to expend a Flash Cannon to get rid of this Weezing. I don't think they have enough energy for Flash Cannon. And it is a Thunder. So that's not going to be enough to knock out Overheat. Despite being double debuffed, it's still double super effective. And it's going to knock out the Ferrothorn to deliver a Game 1 victory. Well done. G Weezy. Just like the rapper G Easy. Making it look easy. And by the way, shout out to Raf Ren, if that's how you pronounce this trainer's name. Thank you, my man, for the submission. Dugong, a fan favorite. Shout out to Mountain Dugong. Parasect. We featured like a long time ago on the channel. It's been a while since we featured a Parasect. I also just learned, because I was like looking up Parasect when I made this video for, for like the uh, the shiny image of it. Oh, speaking of shiny, shiny Ferrothorn, pretty cool. Um, and apparently Parasect is like a zombie. Apparently the mushroom on it, like, took over its brain or something in this year. It's kind of creepy. Sorry if I just gave someone nightmares. That's on me. As we see the cross poison get a shield. Very nice. I wonder if they were afraid of Solar Beam, because Parasect does learn Solar Beam. Cross poison now. Does some solid damage. Gonna spam this off. Three cross poisons. Getting to these cross poisons so quickly. Nine turns for each one. Um, or would it be eight turns for the third one? Let's see. I think it would I think it wouldn't be eight turns to the fourth one, right? Anyway. Dugong coming in here, gonna absorb some damage from this Shadow Gyarados and go for the Ice Shard down. Crunch connects, but this trainer is two shields up. Catches a move onto the Weezing. Likely a resisted. Oh, no, it's a Flash Cannon. Are you kidding me? What the heck, dude? There's no way the opponent did that on purpose. There's no way. There's no way. There were still two shields up. There is no shot they did that on purpose. That must have been a misclick and a catch on the misclick. That is unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Dugong into Weezing. I would think this favors Dugong with the super effective drill run. Also, just in general, you outbulk the Weezing. If you go straight Icy Wind, I would think it's still positive for Dugong here. Brutal Swing, not going to do that much. Going to throw after two. I don't love the timing there, but 
it's fine. Maybe he wants to avoid them from catching and feels like they were less likely to catch there. Gonna see another move spam off from Weezing, but these Brutal Swings, as you see, not doing a whole lot. In comes Pharaoh Thorn, and this is where Parasect has been thriving. Just gonna outpace the Pharaoh Thorn to these X Scissors, which do seem to add up pretty quickly. Look at that. Basically just needs double X Scissor as this bug damage is hitting for neutral against the Pharaoh Thorn. Also, this is the... Oh, Flash Cannon's gonna hurt. This is the second shiny Pharaoh Thorn we've seen. I don't know if I like this. This is resisted, so I don't know if this is enough. But it gets the shield, so a nice call. And gonna get to another one. Does allow the sneak. Does the Pharaoh Thorn invest a second shield here? That'd be kind of crazy. Oh my gosh, they do. Oh my gosh, another force to throw energy. They're down two shields. This is not looking good for the opponent. Power Whip connects. They probably have double. No, they don't. Oh my gosh, this looks so dominant right now. And uh, yeah, it was. The opponent's like, you're right, Rise. This is pretty dominant. I'm gonna just top left and be on with my day. Top left and beyond with his day. Searching for the next opponent is Roth Ren. I believe he's sent two sets. Next battle, here we go. Oscar. Oscar. We've got Dugong into Trev. Positive matchup for the Dugong, but of course the C-bombs will hit for super effective as well. I like the timing from the opponent throwing after seven. Dugong's going to put up a shield. Might do one ice shard and then throw the icy wind. And it's a good thing he did one ice shard, right? Because it gave him time to react and now can throw the super effective drill run at the Tentacruel. And just going to be willing to stay in. Um, this is probably his best answer to the Tentacruel. So just completely willing to stay in here. Will Tentacruel put up a shield? No, they're just going to completely sack it. Interesting. Very interesting. Now Pharaoh comes in and I love the pivot here. I love the pivot, dude. This is making me want to try out Parasect myself. <laughs> is that bad? Is that bad? Is that a bad idea? Maybe. But uh, this Parasect is putting in work. Hasn't run into like a Pelipper yet. Pelipper would be kind of bad. Um. Okay, Trev comes back. Going for the Exorcist. I mean, this would nearly knock out. Exorcist is a decently hard-hitting move. Remember, it got that buff where buff slash nerf where more energy but also more damage. Move coming through from, uh oh. Shadow Ball knocks out the Parasect. In comes Dugong, just trying to do as much fast move damage as possible. Gets the form down. And now uh, the opponent's just going to surrender. I think it was over, right? I forget how healthy the, the Pharaoh was because there could have been like a crazy win con of like if Flash Cannon was enough to knock out the. Uh, the wheezing, but if you get off that icy debuff, probably not. Lifter, 93. Maybe they're a weightlifter. Any weightlifters watching this video? Dugong versus Pelipper. I would, once again, favor the Dugong in this matchup. And especially if the Pelipper is going straight weather ball. Come on, bro. You gotta at least build up to the hurricane. Occasionally, I see people um, that are might be like newer battlers that don't understand the concept of baiting as like building up to the high energy move and then baiting the low energy move they will just like throw the low energy move right away um so you always want to build up to that hurricane if you're going to bait the weather ball in that matchup wheezing throws the brittle swing dugong says that tickled and is going to take another one right on the chin opponent just keeps throwing these not hard-hitting moves at Dugong. And Dugong's like, bro, I'm thick. I'm bulky. Takes out the wheezing. Looking to pivot right away, which I like. You don't want to give that free wing attack down to Pelipper. Going to respect a move here. I guess he got a shield eventually. And going to um, eat this one on the chin. See, that time the opponent built up. Weather Ball connects this is a really good situation for wheezing except you did get chipped i guess by the weather ball so now going for the hard hitting over he does this land through that final protect shield yes it does one shots the pharaoh the opponent's out of here and perfect per gets to take the game off for some load management shout out to Kawhi leonard <laughs> some people get mad when i make that reference um Nice set there to start things off. 2088. Imagine what the world will be like in the year 2088, dude. 
hopefully Whirl will all still be around. How old will I be? I'd be 90. I'd be 90 in 2088. Quick maths. Yeah, maybe I'll see 2088. Who knows? Who knows? Shiny Empoleon. I love this shiny. This looks really cool. I don't. You don't see this shiny that often, for whatever reason. Drill pack connects. I love the little light blue shade, and uh, shiny dugong. There's just so many shinies in this video. Is like the 2000s elo range? Do people tend to lean towards using shinies as opposed to top IVs? Maybe. Going for the drill run here against this shiny Empoleon. Drill run connects, but. Oh, we see a simul swap, and this is terrific. This is terrific for Parasect. All its moves are super effective here. It does have to respect a while. Oh, no, it doesn't, because the Exeter just straight up knocks out. Holy cow, dude, Parasect is making people top left. I was going to title this video, Parasect Infects the, uh, the Spring Cup, but now is it like... Parasect makes people top left. Parasect infects and makes you top left. Oh, we'll have to work it out. When the video is uploading, it usually takes a while. It takes like a good 30 minutes or so to upload onto YouTube. So uh, maybe during that time, we'll have to decide on what the title will be. Parasect, dude, keeps getting aligned with Ferrothorn. This is crazy. This Parasect is putting in work. And actually able to absorb the flash cannon a little bit better than you might think. Going for the cross poison again. It is single resisted. So yeah, it doesn't... So yeah, maybe would have been better off going for Exazer. Unless... Feels like he doesn't need switch. So just gonna... Just gonna take the L in this matchup. But give himself a fairy win down here. And what's going to come in to greet Weezing? I forget what the lead was. Lantern. Was that the lead? Maybe? Well, no, because didn't the opponent swap out? I forget. I should have been paying attention. My bad. My bad, class. David is typing. Yo, Bryce, not even paying attention. So distracted. Yo, was that... Did that look kind of weird to you? Was that like a close... That's like a super close-up of wheezing. You know, that just totally brought back another memory. In college, I took this, like, intro to acting class, and we talked about, like, different shots and different... uh like close-up shots and I forget the terminology, but we talked about all different type of shots and movies and stuff. We made our own little like movies and scenes. And then we were supposed to like act out a scene like based on something that happened to us in real life. And then mine was like kind of embarrassing because then what because one person in my class like found out what it was about. Anyway, not gonna get into that story. The college days. Shadow Mawile for some reason didn't shield. I guess they were just you know, that's probably something I would do, to be honest. I would probably no shield there, too, because I'm just like, they're going to icy wind bait me. Like, they're going to icy wind bait me. So I probably would have no shielded as well and then just gotten all embarrassed. Then my chat would all be, Grys, you're so bad at this game. They'd laugh at me. The person that beat me would come in, ask me why I didn't shield and why I'm so bad at the game. And that's just a typical day on stream. Typical day on stream sometimes. I'm tempted to just play my sets at midnight because I like to throw games in peace, you know? It's more... Oh, correctly shows the least storm. Very nice. It's more fun to throw games in peace than have the person that beats you come in to flex on you. You know what I mean? Anyway, shiny dugong with the shiny advantage boasting over the non-shiny dugong. Like, look at you. Not even a shiny. But dugong's a bit of a problem for this back line. Especially since Parasect... Is going to take super effective. Okay, but the opponent throws this relatively early. So might dip now that they don't have much energy? No. Going to just stay in completely. I don't mind this play. I think this is probably the smarter play, to be honest. Throws the drill in because you're not at risk of getting farmed down. Ooh, maybe it would have been better to throw first there, but that's fine. Maybe he wants to, like, double up here or something. Gonna just shy of double up. Drill Run would knock out from this range, of course. Drill Run gonna grab the shield and gonna win the charge attack priority. Absolutely massive. Opponent probably just lets it go now. They'll farm down with something. Pivot into 
Parasect so spammy to that cross poison. And uh, a weather ball will hurt, but we saw Parasect take a flash cannon before, so. Oh my gosh, wait, what? That's kind of crazy. Weather ball just straight up knocked out from that, that health. That's insane. Am I like tripping? Like what's going on here? Didn't a flash cannon from Ferrothorn do less than that earlier? Like a lot less than that? I know there's a it's super effective and there's a higher attack, but flash cannon is just such a hard hitting move compared to weather ball. It's throwing me off, but anyway. Some of you are probably like, of course it knocked out Rise. It's a super effective weather ball from a high attack Pokemon. It totally makes sense. Maybe. That just seemed like a lot. That seemed like a lot. I don't know. Roserade is just him or her. Next battle. Raffren with some really entertaining stuff. Thank you again for the submission. Tough lead. Might pivot out. No. Going to stay in with Dugong. I wouldn't have hated like, uh, well, maybe drill run and then pivot. Is that what we're going to see? Oh, no. Drill run. Opponent gives him a free Ice Shard, which is kind of nice. Just going to sack the Dugong? Yikes. Now going to pivot into Parasect. And this is not that bad of an answer. Or bad of a counter, I should say. Parasect can definitely hold its own here. Hit for some hard-hitting neutral X Scissors. Man, it does so much. Cross Poison coming through now. This would knock out the Trevenant if unshielded. And... It will draw that shield. We've yet to see a cross poison boost. I think there's only like maybe two or three more battles after this one. So hopefully we get to see that cross poison boost at some point. Going for another cross poison here. Will Trev put up that final protect shield? It will not. It's going to let it go. In comes a Cherim. Oh, man. Well, this is really good. Because Cherim's going to struggle just to get rid of this Parasect. And if it does, there's no way it's getting rid of Wheezy. There's no way it's getting rid of the Wheezy. Shields the x are Combo play with the Lantern, but honestly, Parasect might hang on here. And then you probably just swap Wheezy, yeah. Swap Wheezy, over farm a little bit. Um, Perfect, yeah. No, this is probably the best possible play. And now there's no way Cherim is going to reach like a Hyper Beam before you get to Overheat. Going to take a while to get to a potential Hyper Beam. No messing about. Just going straight for that. Over. Heat. Feel the heat, Cherim. I used to love running Cherim back in the day because it learned... Uh, it had Weather Ball, Solar Beam. And at the time, like, Bullet Seed, Weather Ball was, like, one of the spammiest combinations. And um, it was just so annoying to play against because you don't you didn't know if they were going to bait the Weather Ball or go for the hard-hitting Solar Beam. So uh, it was a fun Pokemon to play. It also had that like the weather ball coverage for for Registeel and the solar beam coverage for Azumarill back in the day. Still has that, of course, but now you just see like a more diverse meta. Um Okay, in the Dugong mirror, and this could go on for a while. Correctly shields the first drill run. I, I can't imagine the opponent shields like you're telegraphing. Okay, thank you, opponent. But I still don't mind the play. I don't love shielding. Because, like, if I'm the opponent, I'd probably just swap out. But maybe they can't swap out. Maybe they don't have a great response to this Dugong other than their own. Like, if I'm the opponent, I'm trying to clear this debuff. Um, okay. Builds up to maximum energy. Literally 100 energy because Ice Shard is 10. Actually, wait a sec. No. Ice Shard is 10. But because Drill Run is 45, it would have been 95 energy. Going for another drill run here. Or did he go over? Was it 105? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Going to eat another drill run to the face here, but going to be able to win switch advantage, which is what he is going for. Also understands that Dugong is tough for his back line, so perhaps does not want to have to deal with it later. Just wants to make sure he gets rid of the Dugong. In comes Polyrath. This is a little bit tough. This Polyrath's a bit of a problem because you just don't have much charge move pressure against it. The Cross Poison's your best bet. And uh, landing that's nice. And then the dip, managing this really well. 
Got landed the cross poison, swapped so he didn't have to worry about shielding the icy wind, and is just gonna try and chip this polywrath as much as possible and hope that the get wow, got a got a shield from the brutal swing. That's huge. That's brutal for the opponent. Parasect hopefully gonna have a positive matchup in the back. Gonna go for the brutal swing. Might have been able to reach the overheat here, but that's all right. Brutal swing connects. We are gonna see the farm down from the polywrath. Doesn't have a move yet, but this is a positive matchup for the Parasect. We're going to, I think Pharaoh is going to need to land a flash cannon to try and win this game. We see the shield come up. Going to call that it's just a mirror shot. Yeah, that was awfully quick. So we're going to see this Pharaoh Thorn attempt to spam off mirror shots. And a mirror shot debuff could be concerning here where maybe double X's or doesn't knock out anymore. But gets fortunate, no mirror shot debuff. Let's in a free bullet seed. It's a bit not ideal with the timing. X is or connects. Another mirror shot coming through. Cannot afford to get debuffed. Or maybe you can. Because it's definitely an X is or range. Oh, gets the farm. Has the X is or. And this game was nearly a timeout situation after that Dugong mirror match. But Parasect prevails. Parasect infects. And Parasect makes the opponent's top left. A very fun submission. Thank you once again for uh, the user that submitted these battles. Those were fun to cast as the shiny Dugong, the shiny Parasect, and Galarian Weezing go on a very nice run, climbing over 100 points to 2130 in the Go Battle League. Those are all the matches for the day, and those are all the matches for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you are new, comment down below. All comments are appreciated. And one shout out if you are still here, I will be casting on Twitch with the legendary Sovtof and Mr. Tomahawk UK, as well as PvP Steve on PvP Steve's channel. Sunday, the day this is like going live, so like not that long after this is live, um, twitch.tv slash PvP Steve. He put together this really cool tournament of world champions. Dunebug, Axin, Weedle. And Dancing Rob, was he the last of the four? Maybe. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be casting. It should be a really fun event. So if you want to go check out PvP Steve's Twitch channel, I will be um, over there with some other legends in the community. All that said, thanks so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.